let me begin by giving a great uh, word of appreciation and thanks to Leader Stuart Cousins for always uh, making sure that election reforms are at the top of our agenda every year as we come into session on the first legislative day. Uh, and to the person who has led us on this journey from worst to first, the chairman of our uh, election law committee, Zelmer Myrie, who has done great work uh, day in and day out um, as we have continued to make New York a model for the nation when we are under siege. I'm incredibly proud of this conference. From our very first day in the majority, we uh, laid out a marker that we are going to make it easier for people to vote in New York. We established early voting, made it easier to vote by absentee, and that work uh, continues uh, every year, as, as Leader Stewart Cousins mentioned. Um, just a couple of weeks ago, we had new uh, laws signed into effect that uh, make early voting even easier by opening new sites, make the absentee process move more uh, fluidly so we might actually know results on election night instead of months later. Um, and today's package uh, is continuing on that journey of doing things that we need to do to make things better, uh, more accessible, especially in this time of concern about COVID. We are continuing to extend the ability for people to vote by absentee um, uh, for reasons related to uh, fear of, of uh, viral transmission. Um, and I have a bill I'm very proud of that would effectively block large multinational corporations from playing and buying uh, elections uh, in New York State. That's something that other jurisdictions have done. It's called the Democracy Preservation Act, and I'm uh, really proud that that's a part of this package. And I thank my colleagues for all their good work um, on this issue um, and look forward to once again uh, setting the tone for everyone else to follow. Thank you, Leah.